All right, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on a Lenovo Ideal Pad 3. Let me show it to you the condition on the screen. As you can see, that the crack started happened at the bottom right corner. So you see this little black darker line. It is running down to the bottom. So uh, what happened was the ear port. The, the the headphone was left around the corner right here so when we shut the screen down and that screen just cracked um we go against the uh the ear pot all right so um I'll walk you through step by step on how to do the screen replacement on this and first i'd like to identify the model for you if you flip it around take a closer look here it says lenovo ideal pet 3 I'm not sure what is the exact model here. It looks like 15L05 or the model name is 81WE. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, best is to make sure you remove the battery. You can watch one of my video that I do a teardown process and explain how to disconnect the battery. Or you can just simply by press and hold the power button until the computer is completely shut off. All right, so no light, no display, the crack happens down here. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So you wanna get yourself a metal prying tool. What we're gonna do is try, try to pry open the bezel. Since the screen is already cracked, I'm not quite worried about scratching the screen. So we'll be replacing with the new one here. So the bezel is double-sided adhesive tape on it. So I am having some difficulty to pry it open. Let me go ahead and find the weaker spot. It looks like the side here is a lot weaker. It doesn't have the double-sided tape on, so you can get underneath that. And let's gently pry it open, okay? So you want to pry it at the same time you want to cut the adhesive. So on the top of the bezel is a clip on. So you want to pop it out by unclip them. And then at the bottom here is the where adhesive is taping onto it. As you can see, this adhesive tape is right there. Yeah, it's taping onto the bezel. So I'm trying to not cut all the way because I'll be reusing the same bezel and I like to have the adhesive tape to be reused again later on. So here I am cutting down the, the line. As you can see, the screen has a plastic on it. As I'm running through that, I'm cutting them together. And I just wanted to point it out to you. What you want to do is you try to uh, separate the you want to separate the uh, this thing right here if it's possible. Alright, there you have it. So the bezel, you probably need to tuck underneath. What I did was I separate some of the, uh, give myself a little bit more room to remove the bezel. And that's how it looks like when you remove the bezel. Okay. 
So once you have removed the screen bezel, then you can put it on the side. And the next step is to focus on the LCD screen. As the LCD screen is not screwed into the side here, it is double-sided adhesive tape that tape onto it. All right, so let me show it to you what to pull. If you take a closer look here in the top right corner, you have this little black plastic. And this black plastic is where you want to uh, pull the, the thing off. Okay, so you just keep pulling. All right, once you finish pulling that, you're going to come back and pull on the other side. Once you have pulled both sides, you want to flip the screen towards your body. So flip towards yourself. And here is where the uh, 40 pin connector is on. Is it 30 pin connector? Sorry, I might be wrong. It's either 30 or 40. But I have a feeling this is a 40, uh, 30 pin connector. It seems it's a lot shorter. Um, flip it up. You need to flip the clipper open and slide that cable away from your body and that's how you remove it now once you have disconnect the lcd cable you have your entire lcd screen here with you let me show you the model number here the company name is inolux that built that the model is n156hga-ea3 version c2 what I'll do is I'll link them all in the description below where I buy the uh, where I buy the tools from or the LCD sc screen from. Um, I wanted to link them below where you can uh, click on the link and direct you to Amazon or eBay where you can buy the screen um, without any mistake or any uh, problem with that. Also, you do need to have a double-sided tape I recommend you to use this red double-sided tape or uh, you can get the 5 mm this is a 10 mm uh, 10 millimeter or 5 millimeter meaning the the width of the uh, double-sided tape and what you want to do is you want to re-tape them back together on the side of the uh, the 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 top cover so you need to tape it down all right i'm using a 10 millimeter which is a little bit too thick i just wanted to show you an example i will probably remove it after and get the get a better one uh, i just do not have the new screen with me and I wanted to use the same old screen, original screen, to show you the process on how to do it. All right, so assuming that you order the screen, it comes in, and also you have the, um, the tape here with available, right? So once you want to do is to get the screen, you want to, you want to reconnect the cable back together, so make sure the clipper is open. And now you want to slide that cable back towards your body. So slide it down and secure by pressing down the clipper to latch back on. Put the tape on, right? I know it's ugly. Do not, you know, judge me on that. Like I said, I'm just going to use a better tape, but I'm just giving you an example. You need to have this double-sided tape. Once you have the tape on, let's go ahead and remove that double-sided uh, Let's remove this. I like this red tape because it is really sticky. Um, it stick very well. And also I use them on all my iPads and whatnot. Okay. You know, you can just realign your screen all the way to the very bottom and then stick it in. Okay. And just stick it in. Once you have everything in the right place on both sides you get the double-sided tape on 
you just have to put the bezel back together and clip it down that's pretty much that's pretty much it so um i'm not going to do that because i'm still waiting for my new screen to come in um i just wanted to share this video with you and and how to do a screen replacement on an Lenovo IdeoPad, uh, whatever version this is. Um, okay, so um, one thing I like to ask is if you can give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Feel free to do so, uh, but definitely give me a like if you find the video is helpful. I I hope that this video help you and guide you on how to replace your laptop screen. I do reach a comment, so comment below. All right. So if you have any question regarding about computer, comment below. I do reach a comment and I'll try to answer those computer questions. All right. So this is it. And uh, I hope you enjoy watching the video and smash the like before you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye now.